All right, everybody, we are going to get started today. Good morning. All right, do we have any uh, special requests? Hi, Beverly. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So go ahead and oh, I'm not standing on my mat and get on your mat. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll your shoulders. Good, and take a deep breath up. Exhale, soft fold down to your knees. Inhale all the way up. Just get your breath moving here. Exhale down. And all the way up. One more time. Exhale down. And inhale up. And from here, leaning mountain. Good. Just float over to the other side. Good. And take a deep breath here. And this time, try to go as far as you can, straight legs, but don't push. First fold. Good. Step halfway back with your right foot. Unhinge. Put your hands on your hips and press your hips forward here. Just opening up the front of your body. Good, and hinge over your leg there. Split leg fold. Good, and now inhale as you step back with your right foot. Exhale, revolve your lunge. Just getting warm here. Step back to downward dog. Pedal that if you want to. Spread the fingers out. Good, and come to plank. Chaturanga to up dog. And go back to downward dog. Good. Lift your gaze, step forward with your left leg and come up to high lunge. Good. Now from here, take a breath and sink your lunge and then exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Two more, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale as you step in and exhale, hinge and fold. Step back halfway with your left foot and unhinge. High lunge, open up the front of your body here. Roll your shoulders out of your ears. And reach over that right leg. Split your fold. Inhale as you step back with your left foot. Exhale, revolve your lunge. Both hands to the floor, step back to downward dog. And find your plank. Push those shoulders down out of your ears. Inhale as you chaturanga, exhale up to up dog. Push through the fingertips. And go back to downward dog. Lift your gaze, step forward with your right, and come up to your high lunge. Good, heel is up in the back. Take a breath, inhale down, and exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, 
Inhale down. Exhale up, two more. Inhale down. Exhale up, one more. And step up. And hinge and fold. Good, take a breath. Unhinge, lift up to mountain pose. Take a breath, bring your hands to your heart. Lift your sternum into heart center. Good job. Take a breath. Up we go. Exhale into chair. Inhale up. Exhale over, fold. Inhale, standing extension. Exhale, fold deeper. Good, step or jump back to plank. Chaturanga to up dog. Inhale, as you lower that down, we're gonna to go to bow here. Take a breath, pull the belly button off the floor, lift the arms and legs. Try to relax your jaw here. Reset the hands and push yourself back up to plank. Good, now we're gonna break that plank in half. So turn to your left, right hand is down. I want you to kick your left, your right leg underneath. So it's a side plank, but you've got this leg extended. Good, turn that to downward dog. Come back to plank again. Now listen, inhale and jump your legs out wide. And then back in. Good, out wide. And if you need to walk this instead, out, in, you can, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, one more, out, in, knees down toward the outside, toes together, woo, sit back, child's pose. Good, roll up onto your shins. Now let's open up the front of the body here. Take a breath, press your hips forward, turn to your left, put your left hand on your left hip, reach the body open. Think more about opening up the front of your body than bending backward. Now if you're more flexible and you wanna reach down for your hamstring, you can. Or put the hand on your heel. Try not to just hover out in space. Soften your hips. And we're going to come forward with the left leg into our kneeling lunge. So a little bit of quad work here. Put your hands to the floor. Tuck your back foot. On your exhale, all you're gonna do is lift your knees, straighten your leg and squeeze the front of that back leg, the uh, quad of your right leg. So down, up, and then down. Exhale, up, inhale, down. Exhale, up, inhale, down. Exhale, up, inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, and exhale up, inhale down. Big breath, up you go, stretch that quad, well done. Exhale, twist your lunge here.
Good, hands to the floor, tuck your back foot. And take your left leg, that's your front one, back to three leg dog. Good, press that right heel down, use this moment to stretch. Now take a big breath, exhale, now knee tuck, keep, keep your hips high, so not a plank. Tuck your head towards your knees, roll up onto the ball of your right foot. And then when you come back up, press the heel down, ears go between your biceps. Exhale, knee tuck. And up. So it's not a knee hover. Knee hovers when we plank here. It's not that. It's a knee tuck. Round the spine. And lift. Round the spine. And lift. Down the spine and lift. Round. You got two more. Slow it down. Make yourself use your whole breath. Lift your gaze. Step forward with your left. Inhale into standing extension. Step in with the right. And now exhale and fold. <sighs> Bend your knees, lift your gaze, and unhinge. Ooh. Must have been that cheese I ate. All right, oh. take your breath <laughs> and bring your hands to your heart. Lift your heart into your thumbs. And inhale, chair. Lift that chair, take a breath, exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, standing extension. Exhale, fold further. And now we're gonna jump. So you can bend your knees here, back to plank or walk. Good, now break your plank here. Take your left leg, kick it underneath. Like it's like a side plank with a kickstand. Make sure that your wrist is right underneath your shoulder. Squeeze that side body. And come back to plank. Get around to up dog. Good, now pull that belly in. Inhale as you drop, lift out to bow. So we tend to cheat by lifting ourselves higher, by pushing down through the belly. So you've really got to pay attention to your core. Think about making your waist narrow here from your spine all the way around. Good, come back up to plank. And really try to slow your breath. Exhale, jump out. Exhale, jump in. 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 Come on, strong legs. Exhale, out. In, three more. Out, in, two more. Out, in, one more. Out, and in, child's pose, woo! Roll up onto your shins. Good, open up the front of your body. Turn to your right. Hand goes to the hip or the back of the leg. Good, 
gonna just open your body, you're looking to the right, revolved half camel. Really give yourself permission to let that left side go. Good, and soften that. Step forward with your right, right this one. <laughs> And push that leg forward. Just take a moment. Hands go to the floor. Tuck your back foot. Exhale, lift the back leg. Inhale down. Exhale and squeeze. And down. Exhale. And down. So this is similar to if you were to sit in a chair and do leg extensions, where you just lift your leg. The difference is we've got a little body weight here and a limited range of motion. If you're working on strengthening your quads for a weak knee or something, this is a really great way to do it. Yeah, one more. And unhinge. Relax that back foot. Big breath and twist here. Good, take the hands to the floor, engage your back foot. Now you're gonna take that right leg, that's the one in front, and up it goes to a three-leg dog. Drive your left heel down, take advantage of this stretch. Now remember, it is not a plank, it's not a knee hover. Keep your hips high, roll up onto the ball of your foot, tuck your knee into your shoulder, rounded spine here, and then inhale, put it all back. Heel goes down. Exhale in, and up. Exhale in, take it up. Exhale in, inhale up. Exhale in, inhale up. Reach every time you get up there. Take it further. Two more. One more. Good, now step forward with that right leg. Inhale, step with your left. Find your standing extension. Big breath here, all the way to your belly. Exhale and fold. Take this moment to catch your breath. Bend your knees, lift your gaze, and unhinge. Great job. Find that heart center. Woo. Good. Take a breath. Leave your left hand up. Glue your right leg or right hand to your side. Now, what's important about this reciprocal reach that we're going to do is that you don't turn out. So don't point your toes out to the right. So I want you to think about trying to point your toes to the left side of your mat. That's going to keep your hips square. This is a reciprocal reach. Now, if you got really good balance and you want to challenge yourself, don't touch your foot down in between. Or touch it down and just reset a little bit. We're going to go for eight. If you're with me, you're on three. Keep your breath moving. Pay attention to those toes pointing over to the left side of your mat. We want to turn out. I don't want you to turn out. I have no idea what number we're on. Six. Oh, we're on six. Keep that leg up if you can. Take it all the way to the floor. Both hands standing split. Now you can turn out if you'd like to. You can also just do the split leg fold. Pull your heel into your hamstring and see if you can adjust and look out to your right. You'll kind of want to walk your fingers and find your balance. 
Pull your heel into your hamstring. Good, step back with your right foot. Turn your right foot, find that warrior two. Good. Take a second to roll the shoulders, relax a little bit. Heart rate should be up. Good, now without moving your warrior two, drop your hands behind you and just tap your fingertips and then come out. Behind you, squeeze your back. And up. Behind you, squeeze your back. And up. Behind you, squeeze your back. So we tend to focus on the fingertips. It's really more about the back. Behind you. And up is okay if you don't touch two. Behind you. And up. Two more. One more. Now this next time, we'll keep it behind us. You can clasp your hands or crisscross, whatever feels good, just enjoy a nice shoulder roll there, releasing. Legs should be getting tired. Straighten your leg. Lift your left arm to the ceiling. Grab that arm with your right hand. Give yourself a pat on the back. Reach for the ceiling with that left elbow. Reverse. Triangle with arm grab. Big breath here. Feel the rib cage expand. Yes, that feels good. Open up. Reach that hip away. Reach beyond your foot. Hinge over the triangle. Turn toward the top of your mat. Step back to downward dog. Good. So just a little flow here. Listen to me. Come forward into a plank. Drop your knees. Extend your left arm and your, I'm sorry, your right arm and your left leg. Now put it right back where it was and go back to downward dog. Come forward into a plank. Drop your knees, same side. Left leg, right arm. Drop down, pick it back up. Come down, reach away. Down, pick it up. Down, reach away. Down. Pick it up, down, reach away, down, pick it up, good job, down, reach away, down, pick it up. Come forward into a plank, chaturanga up dog. Good, come on down, good, reach back. If you wanna grab both legs, you can. But if you cannot, just grab your right leg and I'll tell you when to switch. Good, go ahead and switch. If you have both, really focus on pushing the feet into your hands, pulling your shoulders down towards your feet. Good, release that. Hands by your side, let's find child's pose. Good, just come to tabletop. Good, inhale, lift up your left arm. Find the twist here, big breath. Exhale, reach all the way through. Thread the needle. One of my favorites. Good. 
Reset that, please. And inhale, turn to the right. Exhale, thread the needle. Breathe through your back body. Feel the stomach expand with your breath. Get it out of your chest. Relax your jaw. Good, and hands to tabletop. Tuck your feet and just come to a relaxed down dog here. So your knees are bent and then I'll give you the choice. You can jump or step in to standing extension. There's your inhale, exhale and fold. Bend your knees and unhinge. All right, just reset your mountain. Whew. Good job. All right, find your balance into your right leg. Now, so we want to think about pointing the big toe of the left foot, or the left, all of the toes, toward the right side of your mat. So there's no rotating out, no opening up. I'm really saying that for her because she's a dancer and it's all about turning out. <laughs> so keep it pointing down. Now I know you guys turn out too. I want to also keep it flat and unhinge. Again, we're going to go for eight. Go at your own pace. Your goal, you want to try to get to horizontal. If you got to go less than that, it's okay. As you hinge further, you will tend to want to lock out your knee. So make sure you're keeping that soft. This is my sixth. Good, and this one, if you're on your eighth, come all the way down, standing split. You can also just split your fold. If your leg is up, pull your heel into your hamstring and just walk your hands as your ribs open to the left. Step back with your left. And come all the way up to your whoo, warrior two and reach out with the arms, strong legs. Good, now remember before we went behind the back. This time I want you to come in front. You're gonna rotate palms up, touch your pinkies then rotate back, pinkies to the back, uh-huh. Inhale here, I'm sorry, exhale here, inhale here. Exhale in, inhale out. Exhale in. If your hands cross, that's okay. Just make sure the squeeze is in the front of your body, not your arms. Two more. Good, just bring your arms down behind you. You can crisscross them or just grab the hands. And inhale, straighten your legs, reach up with your right arm and then grab it with your left, pat yourself on the back, reach that right elbow up to the ceiling Feel the press forward of your hips. Try to pull that left hip in. Now inhale as it pulls away. Left hip pulls away. Right arm goes down. Enjoy your triangle.
Good, and turn. Well done. Take it back to downward dog. Good, and we come to tabletop. And we'll start that movement again. Now, if your hands wind up a little bit ahead of your shoulders, that is okay. Inhale, exhale, lift your right leg and your left arm. Inhale, reset, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, knees down, exhale, right leg, left arm. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, bird dog. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, bird dog. Inhale, tabletop, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale out. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale out. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, and exhale out. Inhale up. Exhale, come forward to plank. Chaturanga to up dog. Lower that all the way down. And once again, if you would like to grab both legs, you can. But if you want to start with one, this time go with your left one first. Roll the shoulders back regardless. Keep the belly pulled in. And if you're going to switch, you can do that now. And release that down. Hands go by your side and enjoy your child's pose. Good. Come to your tabletop. Good. Now, you can thread the needle just like we did before, where you reach up and go through, or we're going to advance this thread the needle. So start with your left leg extended. Now, wrap your left leg tight and reach for the ball of your foot. Yep, it's going on the other side of your body. Good. Now, to thread the needle, we got to go to the left shoulder down. So turn to your right, squeeze your inner thighs, push the left toes down, big stretch in the hip here, breathe through that. Now come out of that. Now I want you to take your left leg. That's the one that's behind you. Just relax it. So it's still crossed. And then just push back, laying your rib cage down onto your leg. So this is a twisted child's pose, not quite cow face. So we're not sitting all the way back onto our glutes. Good, and bring that up. Let's do the other side. Just reset that, extend your right leg, and wrap. Push the right foot to the floor. And now we twist to the left. And unwind from there. Take that right leg, it's still twisted, just relax it. Yep, and then push back. Let your back get really rounded here. 
This is one of my favorite stretches too. Good, come forward with this and unwrap yourself. Good, and from here we'll go to that relaxed down dog. Knees are bent, gaze is forward. Walk forward or jump into the top of your mat. Inhale, standing extension. Ah, exhale and fold. Bend your knees and unhinge. Good, now. We're gonna take that uh, reciprocal reach a little further. Now, if you want to do what we just did, you can. If not, you're gonna take your right hand and grab your right foot. So we're gonna do the same thing. The difference is now you have your leg again if you'd rather just do the reciprocal reach you can do that as well set a goal for eight you may want to really slow down you may fall over <laughs> You're holding on to something, that's okay too, right? When you're done, step back with that right leg into a high lunge. Good job. That front leg is shaking. Now I promise we're gonna stretch this left leg in just a second, but it is Friday. No idea what that means, but it is Friday. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push forward into single leg stand, cross it over and sink. Now that leg is already fatigued, so if you need to put the foot down, you can. We're gonna do a little strengthening with this. So you're gonna inhale, pick up your leg, and just touch the side of your mat with your right foot. Now go back to single leg chair. Come back up and tap the side. Come back up and have a seat. Come back up and touch the side. Come back up and have a seat. Up and touch the side. Up, have a seat. Up, touch the side. Up, have a seat. Great for the hip stabilizers here. You got one more. Good, lift into mountain. Exhale, hinge and fold. Step back to downward dog. Good, inhale, take your left leg up to three leg dog. Exhale, bring it under you. And we're going to pigeon on this side. Ah, my hip is yelling at me. Breathe here. So it may be a little tight right now because it's got a lot of lactic acid in there. So stay taller if you need to. You gotta kind of tell your body, I swear I'm not about to be injured, I'm okay and then let it go. Good, 
Remember to flex your left foot here. Good, from here, have a seat on your left hip if you're not already there. Take your right leg, that's your back one, bring it around, we're gonna do a seated twist. Now, you can keep your left leg bent. If you need to modify, straighten that leg in the half seated twist, that's fine. Exhale, you're gonna to turn toward your right leg. Now, as we go to easy pose, so we're going to turn to the front, keep your right leg in front. You can also put your right leg on top into half lotus. You do the one that works for you. Do not force your joints into a half lotus, especially if you've had like knee injuries. Take a breath here in prayer. Exhale, reach forward. But now from here, keep your easy pose. Put your fingertips behind you, facing your hips. Good, take a breath. Drive your feet and your knees downward. Pick your hips up. Good, now you may barely lift. You might lift a bunch. And you sat down. Good job. Now from here, we're just gonna go to fold. So you can take your legs around, go to tabletop, go to fold, or you can just come forward, unwrap, and head up into fold. Take a breath when you get there. Just give me a little pedal here. Take your hands to your knees, lift into a standing cow. Exhale up into standing cat. To a neutral spine and unhinge. Roll your shoulders at the top. Good. All right. When you're ready, you're going to grab your left foot. Find your balance. This side might be very different than the other side, right? And that is okay. Maybe you can, maybe you need to go a little slower. That's all right. Focus on breathing. As this gets harder, you're going to want to hold your breath, and you may not even know you're doing it. It's kind of like when we get tense, like at a traffic light, or when something happens that worries us. We hold our breaths and we don't even know that we're doing it. So learn to breathe during stress while you're doing something fun, like yoga. Train your body to breathe. You have three more. Now don't, don't finish because I'm finished. You do more if you need to. When we're done, we'll be waiting for you in our high lunge. Very nice. All right. So you know that we're going to single leg chair. So before you move, think about breathing. Think about pushing into your right leg. And don't go until you're ready. Mm -hmm. You can just touch the toe down. Here we go. Lift, touch the toe out. 
Exhale, single leg chair. Lift, touch the toe out. Exhale, single leg chair. Lift, touch the toe out. Exhale, single leg chair. Lift, toe out. Exhale and sit. Lift. Exhale and sit. Lift. I know these are tough. We got two more. One more. Woo, and just lift in the mountain. Take a deep breath. Woo, my booty's shaking. Down you go. And fold. Good, walk or jump back to downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. And exhale, come forward for pigeon. Woo! Again, that hip may be going, uh 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 uh. Just take a moment, stay up higher. That's your stretch reflex going, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to send pain signals to your brain to protect your body. So this is where you just breathe. Tell your body you're okay. And there'll be that moment where you go, oh, okay, I still feel it, but I think I can, I think I can move a little more now. That's all different for all of us. And from here, walk yourself up. You're going to take, if you're not already on your hip, get there. Take your uh, left leg, that's the one behind you. Bring it around. And again, if you want to modify by extending the right leg out, you can. If not, keep it bent. But before you turn, find your posture. Push your hips down, lift, then turn. And as you turn back toward the front, this time your left leg will be in the front or on top in half lotus, whichever works for you. And you can always, guys, I don't get, you can even undo some, all right? Just your left leg is on top. All right, take a breath. Exhale, relax forward. If this is really hard for you too, you can reach behind you and press. I should have said that before. Good, sit up, hands go behind you, take a breath, push your knees downward, heels downward, lift your hips. Open up your shoulder blades, really squeeze your shoulder blades. And release, good. From here, instead of a standing fold, we are just gonna extend out. Walk your sit bones back towards the back of your mat and just let yourself melt in the fold here. You can rock that side to side if you want to. Good. Bring yourself all the way back. Bring your knees with you. Good, one more stretch here. Uh, you can do, well, variation is a standard bridge, okay? If not, you're gonna part your knees, slide your hands down to your shins, to your ankles, try to set your feet on the floor. Good, now from here, press into your head and your shoulders, 
and see if you can walk your shoulder blades underneath. Again, just do a regular bridge if you need to. Just a nice stretch for the quads here. Good, release that down. Bring your knees in, exhale, drop to your left. Find a breath you can let out as a sigh. Good, and just on your own time, make your way to the other side. And again, find your breath. Take a deep breath, let it out like a sigh. What? <laughs> Come center. <laughs> Put your feet on the floor. Woo, just relax the legs. Let them out. Hopefully they feel a little bit like jello. Just take some long, deep breaths here. Really trying to focus on your legs today, letting those go. You asked a lot of them and a lot of your core. So breathe into your back. Feel your back relaxing into the floor. And just take a physical assessment here, a little body scan. If you feel like some of those moves put tension into your shoulders. Take a moment to breathe and let your shoulders, the back of your shoulders, your neck, your shoulder blades relax to the floor. We did a lot of movement today. So really just embrace how different you feel right now with your stillness. Movement is very good. We often forget that stillness is important as well. It's part of that yin and yang. We don't want to have one without the other. I know lots of people who move, 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 and they don't like to be still. I'm one of them. I have to make myself be still, but it's an important part of balance. And if your body's telling you today to stay reclining, please feel free to do that. Or begin to feel 
your body in contact with the floor. And wiggle your fingers and toes. And roll to your side. And when you're ready, join me seated. Good. We're just going to bring the hands to the heart today. Take a deep breath. Set your left hand in front of you, right hand behind you, and just exhale gently time. Inhale, center. And exhale the other way. And inhale, center. And exhale the heart center. Lift your sternum into your thumbs. And exhale. God bless you guys. Namaste. That was a tough one. It's her fault. I don't know. <laughs> I asked for none of them. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Kelly. Bye, guys. I'm, I'm sweating. That's awesome. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye, Courtney. Thanks, Kelly. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys, Walter, you look like you're sweating. I did. Either that or you took a dip in the ocean behind you. <laughs> I'd rather have done that. <laughs> Bye Donna. Bye Linda.